Dear learners, welcome to MSBT online learning platform, MSBT Lead, learning at your doorsteps. I am Mrs. Sonali Sharigar, lecturer at Agnel Polytechnic, Navi Mumbai. Unit 5 is Applications of 805N Microcontroller and the unit outcome is Program 805N for Given Application. The learning objective of this presentation is Design Circuit for Traffic Light Controller and Develop assembly language program to control traffic lights. Dear learners, do you know what is traffic light system? The contents of this presentation are introduction to traffic light system, 805 and pin assignments to the traffic lights, the interfacing diagram of traffic lights with microcontroller 805 in and assembly language program for traffic light controller. This is the concept map of traffic light controller. The traffic lights, red, yellow, green lights on each direction are interface or connected to the port pins of microcontroller and the microcontroller is programmed to turn on and turn off traffic lights in a predetermined order. So what are traffic lights? Traffic lights are the signaling devices positioned at the road intersections, pedestrian crossings and other locations to control the flow of traffic. You all know that traffic lights, there are three colors which have been actually used, red, yellow, green. Green light indicates that traffic is allowed to flow on the roads. Yellow or amber light indicates that the vehicles have to wait for the change of signal and the red light indicates that the vehicles have to stop for stopping the traffic. A microcontroller based traffic light controller can be designed by simply interfacing the traffic lights on each direction to microcontroller through its port pins and then a microcontroller is programmed to turn on and turn off the lights in a typical sequence with a predetermined time limit. So let us understand traffic light system concept. As you can see we have taken four directions north, south, east and west and on every direction three traffic lights are shown red, yellow and green. This is a two way traffic light system and the traffic flow can be classified in two phases. In phase one the traffic from west to east and east to west is allowed and the same time traffic from north to south and south to north is stopped. In phase 2, the traffic on north to south and south to north is allowed whereas the traffic from west to east and east to west is stopped. To design a microcontroller based traffic control system, the traffic lights are to be interfaced with microcontroller on its port pins. So as you can see in this table, the 8051 pin assignments to every traffic light is shown. So in the previous slide, we have seen we have taken four directions, north, south, east and west. So in the north lane, you have three traffic lights, red, yellow, green. So north lane's red traffic light is interface to port pin P1.0, yellow traffic light is interface to port pin P1.1 and green traffic light is interface to pin P1.2. Accordingly, the pins are also labeled as NR for north red, NY for north yellow and NG for north green. Similarly, on the south lane, the red traffic light is interfaced to port pin P1.3, the yellow light is interfaced to pin P1.4 and the green light is interfaced to pin P1.5. So we have labeled them as SR, SY, SG, SR for south red, SY for south yellow and SG for south green. On the east lane, that means, that means on the east side, the red light is interfaced to port pin P1.6, yellow light is interfaced to port pin P1.7 and green light to port pin P3.0. So we already used all 8 pins of port 1 for interfacing north, south and east lane lights. On the west lane, red light is interfaced to P3.1, yellow light to P3.2 and green light to P3.3. So these are the pin assignments of 805N where the traffic lights are interfaced. So this is an uh, interfacing diagram of traffic uh, light controller. So we have taken red, yellow, green LEDs uh, on each side, north, south, east and west. They are connected uh, to the port pins of 805N. So we have uh, rather connected these LEDs in common cathode configuration. Anodes are connected to the port pins and cathodes are grounded. Uh, we can also uh, use lamps instead of LEDs to indicate traffic lights and uh, they need to be turned on and off using the relays and relays will be interfaced to the port pins. So as you can see in the interfacing diagram, uh, because we have got uh, four directions, north, south, east and west and three traffic 
signals or traffic lights on each uh, direction there are in all 12 uh, leds uh, indicating the traffic lights interface to microcontroller 805n through the port pins port 1 pins and port 3 pins now to design the program for traffic light controller we need to set a process as per which the traffic lights will be turned on and off as per the uh, hardware interfacing diagram of the traffic light system with the port pins of 805n we have seen that we have configured all the leds in common cathode mode so the cathodes were grounded and the anodes were going to the port pins of 805n so to turn a particular traffic light on the port pin needs to be set and to turn off a particular traffic light the port pin needs to be cleared or reset now this is the process uh, based on which the program will be designed so the process goes like this first uh, allow the traffic from west to east and east to west for let's say 20 milliseconds we have assumed 20 milliseconds time here so uh, when we say that we are allowing the traffic from west to east and east to west what are supposed to do is uh, we are supposed to uh, turn on the green lights of east side and west side and turn on the red lights of north side and south side as well as yellow lights on all the four sides will be off uh, then once uh, the 20 milliseconds uh, time for uh, east west direction is over then we need to give a transition period of 5 milliseconds where the yellow lights on east and west direction will be on so when the yellow lights of east and west direction are on before that the green lights of east west should be off so right now the condition is yellow lights of east west are on and red lights of north south are on so when the 5 milliseconds transition period gets over then allow the traffic from north to south and south to north for 20 milliseconds by making the green lights on north and south direction on and turning on the red lights on east and west direction again after 20 milliseconds time is over give a transition period of 5 milliseconds on north south direction by turning on the yellow lights of north and south direction and then the process should be repeated continuously so now let us understand the program for traffic light controller so in this part of the program we have assigned port pins to every light on every direction so nr which is north red is interface to p1.0 and y north yellow is interface to p1.1 and g north green is interface to p1.2 then sr south red is interface to p1.3 sy south yellow is interface to p1.4 sg south green is interface to p1.5 east red er east red is interface to p1.6 ey east yellow is interface to p1.7 eg east green is interface to p3.0 wr west red is interface to p3.1 wy west yellow is interface to p3.2 wg west green is interface to p3.3 so by using equ directive we have actually done what we have labeled those pins p1.0 to p3.3 by the names nr ny ng sr sy sg er ey eg and wr wy wg so these names will be using in the program further so the program goes like this because the traffic lights are interfaced to the port pins that is port 1 and port 3 pins we first configure this port pins as output ports so move p1 comma hash 00h no doubt sends data 00h on port 1 and it is going to configure the port as output port as a result all the traffic lights on port 1 are off right now similarly move p3 comma hash 00h also does the same thing configures p3 as output and the traffic lights interface to port 3 are right now off then in the process the first thing was we were going to allow the traffic on east west and stop the traffic on north south so to stop the traffic on north south direction the north and south red light should be turned on so set b nr sets the bit of nr as high that means the nr light is turned high set b sr is going to turn on the south red light then set b eg turns on the east green led on and set b wg turns the west green led on so this these four instructions actually are allowing the traffic on east west direction and stopping the traffic on north south direction this should be maintained for 20 milliseconds so a call delay calls a delay of 20 milliseconds after 20 milliseconds are over the green lights on east and west are turned off by using clr that is clear eg and 
CLR WG instructions and the yellow lights on east and west directions are turned on by using set B E Y and set B W Y. So the yellow lights that is a transition period should be on for 5 milliseconds. So a call Y underscore delay is a 5 milliseconds delay program here. Then when the 5 milliseconds, milliseconds get over, the yellow lights of east and west are turned off by clearing the bits E Y and W. And the red lights on east and west are turned on. For the set B E R, set B W R will turn on the red lights on east west. Now we are stopping the traffic on east west, and now we are going to allow the traffic on north and south. So to allow the traffic on north and south, till now the red lights of north south were on. We have to turn off the red lights of north and south by using C L R N R and C L R S R, and turn on the green lights on north and south by using set B N G and set B S G. This should be again kept on for 20 milliseconds. So we call a delay of 20 milliseconds. After 20 milliseconds are over, that means the north-south traffic was on for 20 milliseconds. Now we need to stop the traffic on north-south. Before that, we need to give a transition period of 5 milliseconds. So we clear the green lights on north and south, and we turn on the yellow lights on north and south. Again, this should be kept on for 5 milliseconds. So a call delay 5 milliseconds. Uh, a call rather y underscore delay is a 5 milliseconds delay program which keeps the Yellow lights on north and south on for five milliseconds. After the five milliseconds transition period is over, the yellow lights on north and south are turned off. The red lights on east and uh, west are turned off, and the whole process repeats again. That means again means again we are going to allow the traffic on east west, stop the traffic on north south, and the whole process is repeated. This is how the uh, program goes for the traffic light controller. These are the delay programs we have used: the 20 milliseconds delay program for green lights on and red lights on, and the 5 milliseconds delay program for yellow lights on. So, dear learners, please attempt MCQ set one. Thank you.